Hello guys, um, I hope you're all doing well. Um, today uh, we are going to uh, see a small town of Italy which is named Perugia. It is situated in the central part of Italy. It is the main town of the um, region Umbria. Perugia is the name of the town that we are going to see today. Um, the landscape of the area is pretty hilly and uh, even the town center is located pretty well, pretty high. It's about 450 meters above the sea level. You can see a pretty nice lake here nearby, it's Lago Trasimeno, which is also the um, biggest lake of the central part of Italy. And also, um, just to uh, make us understand how strategic has been this area also in the past, so historically, you can see here the um, Fiume Tevere, so the uh, river Tiber, which is of course much well known because it flows uh, in the uh, city of Rome, but it has been strategical for strategical also for the um, town of Perugia. Um, so we can go to see a little bit of the center of Perugia. Uh, one of the main monuments is for sure the Rocca Paulina, the so-called Rocca Paulina. The name Rocca Paulina comes from the Pope who wanted this Rocca to be built. Rocca means uh, castle basically, uh, like a big, big castle. And just to let you understand which was the um, size of the castle in the past. Uh, this is a picture, so you can really see how big it was. Uh, nowadays, uh, um, it's uh, much smaller, so only a small part remains. It was uh, ordered by, it, well, the castle was uh, wanted by the Pope um, Paolo III, so Paolo III, and uh, you can see here how big is really the big is the structure, how, the, um, uh, the, how big the walls are, really. Um, of this uh, castle and um, it was built uh, uh, and well planned by different architects among which also uh, Antonio da San Gallo which was a pretty important architect for the time and it was planned uh, in the 16th century so it's not so old that it may uh, look from the outside and here you can see a very very um, uh, impressive and particular um, ancient uh, door, which is the uh, door uh, city gate, um, Porta, um, the Porta Marzia, so called Porta Marzia, which is the, which dates back to the Etruscans, so really, really old. Um, the name comes probably for the fact that nearby there was a temple dedicated to the god Mars. You can see different statues of divinities here. I can show you another picture where you can see a little bit better the um, the, the the city gate itself. Huh? So this was one of the five city gates. There were five city gates also during the Etruscan time, um, and it is pretty exceptional to see uh, such an artifact from that period because uh, it's pretty pretty ancient. This one. Um, and you can see here, there are also some um, words written here. Um, it is written Colonia Vibia, which refers maybe to the fact to the um, Emperor Vibio, who came from, he was emperor of the Roman Empire, but he came from Perugia originally. And here it is written Augusta Perusia. Perusia was also a name that was given, that has, had been given um, historically uh, under the Roman Empire. So Augusta, because it was indeed the Emperor Augusto who gave uh, this name to the, um, to the town of Perugia. And uh, this is maybe also an origin of the name uh, of the town. Perugia uh, comes actually possibly maybe from a more ancient time, maybe from the Umbrian time, so pretty um, old period, even before that was even before the um, the Etruscans, Peru, Perugia maybe comes from Perudia, which means reddish, and this is because maybe the Umbrians, the Umbri, uh, were used to um, defend themselves with some uh, sort of uh, wooden fences, which were uh, colored and from um, far away they looked possibly a little bit reddish. So, um, I'm now going to show you the uh, 
Vital Center of Perugia, which is Piazza 4 Novembre, it has in fact been the center of the town since the Roman time. Um, during the Roman time, this uh, area was, in this area, there was the Roman Forum, and then in the Middle Ages as well, it became uh, the vital center uh, of the town. Nowadays, as well, there are some uh, important events which take place here, like Euro Chocolate and uh, Fiera dei Morti, uh, which takes place since the Middle Ages, and Umbria Jazz, which is a um, quite important um, festival, music festival for the jazz music. Um, here you can see a very, very nice fountain. It is named Fontana Maggiore. It is one of the highest examples of the medieval sculpture. Uh, it, has, it is composed by different parts. You can see two uh, marble ba basins, which were uh, made by Nicola and Giovanni Pisano, which were, were very important sculptures. Um, there are different allegories, uh, representation of uh, myth mythology people and also historical people. And um, there is even an inscription at one point that tells the uh, visitor to uh, pushes the visitor to watch at the fountain properly and it's also pretty old it was made in the th uh, 13th century um, then what uh, I can show you is this part of the square here so here you can see a loggia, loggia di braccio uh, which takes name from um, uh, Braccio di Forte Braccio, who was the one who planned this logic, was part actually of a uh, um, palazzo, Palazzo di Podesta, which unfortunately got destroyed in the 16th century after a fire. Um, then here you can see a statue which is dedicated to uh, the Pope Paolo, uh, not Paolo, Giulio uh, III. And here you can see this uh, building here, which really just looks like a palazzo from the uh, middle ages possibly but in fact it is uh, part of the cathedral and it is also quite unusual to see that the facade of the cathedral this is the cathedrale San di San Lorenzo of Perugia um, it's quite unusual to see that the cathedrale doesn't uh, doesn't have the facade directly on the main square and here you can see the facade the portal uh, this part here is uh, um, of course not so um, uh, old. It's, uh, uh, it was made in uh, Baroque style and what you can see is that the structure, the style of the, of the um, cathedral is very particular. It's, it really looks like it's unfinished and in fact it's not been finished. <laughs> um, you can re clearly see that here in particular or this part. Uh, so this part has been made in uh, uh, marble. The original plan was to cover the whole uh, cathedral uh, with this uh, with this marble decoration, but uh, it wasn't finished. <laughs> it's never it's never been finished. So um, it's also quite particular to see a cathedral like that, really. So um, the last uh, building I wanted to show you uh, of Perugia is the Palazzo dei Prioris. This palace, this palace, this building here um, is actually one of the. Um, nicest example and most important example of uh, um, medieval um, architecture, medieval building of the municipal age in particular. Um, you can see the decoration here is super super nice. Um, this uh, uh, this um, this side, so to the side of the um, uh, of the square, you can see this very nice. Um, portal uh, with very uh, interesting form we can say that and then what I wanted to show you as well these statues here you can't see it very well here but there are two bronze statues so this is the griffin which is the symbol was the symbol of the city of, of the town of Perugia and is nowadays still the uh, symbol of the town and here there is the lion which is the symbol of the Guelph um, these are just copies. The medieval original statues are uh, inside the building. The building, uh, uh, as I already said, is of the uh, medieval time, but it has been made in uh, more than one century, so for a very long time. It has additions as well, so it has been like uh, made bigger um, over uh, the story, over its history. And then here you can see these very super nice windows. Uh, these are called th um, Trifora in Italian, um, three mullioned windows, and then over here I just wanted to show you some other nice uh, windows, a bit bigger. Um, 
quadrifora in Italian, so you can see four parts basically, uh, four, four mullioned window in, uh, um, in English. And then one of the last uh, uh, one of the last thing I wanted to show you is uh, this uh, portale. This portal here is really a piece of art. Uh, it's uh, it's a masterpiece, really. Um, it's also the medieval age, uh, but it's um, what I would say is that we are pretty surprised to see a, a portale, a portal like this, for a basically what it was a political building. Um, and there, it, it has been said that maybe this uh, portal, this portale, was made effectively originally not for this building but for a church. So you can see very super nice decoration all over the portale. And um, another interesting thing of this uh, building is that actually it is still nowadays work, work <laughs> used uh, um, for political reason. Um, so it's uh, it is still nowadays actually the um, seat of the city hall of Perugia, of the town of Perugia. So that's it for this video. Uh, I hope you liked the video. If you would like, feel free to put a like. Uh, feel free to su subscribe to my channel if you want. Um, have a look at my other video in English, the one of the Venetian Lagoon, if you want. Um, and uh, I uh, just wanted to show you this nice view of Perugia. Um, and um, there is a very nice video I made from uh, um, a couple of guys, Staff and Mary. Uh, of very very super nice views um, of Perugia so I'm going to put the link uh, uh, below in the description um, yes so that's it for today and uh, I hope uh, uh, you'll um, uh, keep watching my videos um, I'll see you soon bye bye